Welcome back. We're headed into the home stretch here at the Software AG International User Groups Conference in Dublin. I'm Paul Gellin on the Cube, and with me is Kostin Deal, the head of IT strategy at Hitachi Rail, who gave uh, a presentation yesterday about how they are going at Hitachi Rail. How they're going through a, a fairly big strategic um, shift right now. And uh, Kostin, first of all, thank you so much for be being with us today. Thank you for having me. It's a big pleasure. Thank you. Uh, Hitachi Rail, I have to admit I hadn't heard of the company. Hitachi, of course, very diverse company. Yeah. Uh, but what does Hitachi Rail do specifically? Well, Hitachi Rail is a uh, train manufacturer. It's one of the, the global, global leading train manufacturers. Uh, we provide, um, you know, uh, the train. We provide uh, the signaling and uh, signaling services on the uh, tracks. And then we also provide service and maintenance uh, to our customers, you know, on the on the uh, trains that we manufacture. Must be a fascinating place to walk around. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> so you are, um, you spoke yesterday about a, a um, an initiative you have there called One Hitachi, where you're taking these various business groups within Hitachi Rail and uniting them. It's a big deal, it's a big project. Yes. Uh, what is One Hitachi and, and what are some of the complexities involved? Uh, One Hitachi is the, um, you know, a vision for us to, uh, you know, com combine multiple business units um, to work, you know, um, strategically under, you know, one process under, you know, limited IT systems, you know, throughout the business. And it's it's really just to uh, further standardize uh, and become more competitive, you know, uh, as a customer base. Uh, how many business units are involved currently? Uh, currently we have about four, four different business units. And do you have different ERP systems, different manufacturing systems? Yes, yes, we have, um, you know, several different ERP systems, uh, manufacturing systems. Um, I would say, you know, over the past, you know, three or four years, we have, you know, um, conducted uh, projects and programs to, uh, you know, integrate, you know, these systems, um, but it's, it's still ongoing. So talk about the outcome. What are you trying to achieve ultimately with this combination? I would say the outcome is uh, just to, to, to continue to be a, um, a competitive force within our market, uh, being able to provide a seamless experience to our customers. Um, and I think that's really what the, the main ob objective outcome, you know, just based on the information I see from our, our CEO, our CIO, is to provide our customers that you know, streamless, um, you know, experience, customer experience. Now, as head of IT strategy, man, this is a big goal, and there's a lot of complexity involved in it. Where do you start in trying to decompose this into the the different project elements that have to be managed? I say I'd start with the the capabilities of Hitachi Rail. Uh, what we what we have done is really truly identify you know, what Hitachi Rail uh, is composed of and what, you know, what it's not just about what we provide to our customers. It, it mostly talks about uh, who we are as a company. You know, uh, we are procurement, we are uh, design and development, we are payroll, we are, you know, multiple different things. Uh, and then, you know, what processes and organizations and uh, systems uh, make, you know, they'll make up those capabilities. Now you have different systems already in place invariably some are going to win and some are going to lose mm -hmm. some will be chosen to to mm -hmm. be the standard how do you manage making those decisions well those those decisions are you know we have hitachi Rail has you know several lovely uh solution architects you know people that have you know uh that you know, that really good technical expertise to understand you know what what systems or what tools are going to give us that competitive edge. So we lean on our technical team for that, you know. Um, we have an understanding of, you know, the direction that we go in from a strategic perspective, uh, but we also take that strategic perspective and give this to our, you know, our proper, our proper technical people in-house who are able to communicate, you know, through technology, you know, the uh, objective that we need to reach. And part of this is about process. It's about understanding process, mm -hmm. how things work now, how they sh will work mm -hmm. eventually. Uh, you're a veteran user of Aris, mm -hmm. I understand. Um, how does process mining enter into the equation? To be honest, um, we haven't gotten uh, that far deep in that process mining space. Uh, I would love to, you know, sit here and tell you that we have, but you know, we have to be, you know, um, you know, as a employee of Hitachi, we have to be a bit ethical and, you know, just say uh, we haven't gone to that level 
of death in our in our processes. Well, well maybe talk more generally about process mining because of your your experience. Um, yeah. What what are what are the important factors in understanding how processes work? Mm -hmm. uh, how do you get at how do you get at how that process is really working and how, where the exceptions are? I would say uh, the transparency, you know, um, being able to sit with process experts that are that are truly into that day to day, um, you know, understanding of, you know, what makes their their specific processes and then being able to create diagrams and, you know, create the story, you know, through pictures of what what it is they're actually doing, um, identifying the um, the correct objects, um, you know, articulating, you know, the process through objects. So, for example, you know, task objects, um, application objects, information objects. So, really being able to create a complete picture of that process. That's what that that's what helps us enable us to truly know uh, what's going on and, and be have insights, you know, into our process. And what what's the importance of understanding process owners, the the people who are really key to making that process work? Um, because I, well, I would say the, the key to it is having someone with the, the proper experience to speak for it. You know, um, there are times when, um, we, we have, you know, personnel or people that aren't necessarily at the right skill set or, or sometimes they're a little bit too high in the business and sometimes they're a bit lower in the business. But so finding that, you know, um, that expertise, that proper expertise you know, really, you know, um, provides a script for our, for our air systems. Now, we've gone from, uh, you said you have about 16 years of experience with yes. ARIS. We've gone from a, a, a process mining being a very interview intensive, mm -hmm. manual, people mm -hmm. intensive. Now much of it is automated. And early, the first day of this conference, mm -hmm. they showed some Gen AI capabilities mm -hmm. that are being added. Um, how how does this strike you? I mean, how, how does this excite you? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's very exciting. It's um, you know, what, because what happens is um, sometimes when you sit down with a process expert, um, it it takes uh, uh and then you're, and you're coming from with a, a blank page. You know, it, that takes a lot of time to shape their mindset because they don't necessarily look at things from a diagram perspective. So you have to shape their mindset, get them really understood on you know what it is we're trying to do. Uh, where um, AI could provide that, you know, that foundation of information, you know, and then we can give that to a process expert. And then at this, at that point, they're really, you know, kind of just um, reviewing and, and, and providing, you know, checking of if, if what uh, the AI has said as correct, you know, so it's, it's kind of like just providing that foundation, you know, we still need the expertise, you know, from, you know, our, our human race, but um, you know that AI can it can definitely provide a foundation. Now you're head of a, a IT strategy. Mm -hmm. That's a job I think a lot of people would would have, that would appeal to a lot of people. What what does your job entail? Well, this is a new role. Um, so currently, my job entails uh, as as today uh, as I know today, it involves um, you know working with our uh, IT leadership team uh, to really understand. Um, what it is, uh, what their objectives and their goals are, uh, and being able to um, create uh, palatable, um, you know, content, whether that be through IT projects, whether that be through um, capability analysis and assessment, uh, to um, I guess I would say fulfill the goal of you know what. Uh, you know the IT leadership team uh, wants to do mm -hmm. so. It's it's just it's taking their high level strategy and identifying uh, the correct projects, identifying the correct capabilities. Uh, you know, working with the technology teams and, and identifying the correct solutions, and um, you know, just executing on that. And knowing what's strategic. Yes, exactly. Uh, what's the time frame for one Hitachi? Uh, I, I would love to tell you, you know, um, you know, I would say to be continued, you know, um, Hitachi is a fascinating company um, and we are constantly evolving and, um, you know, we are there. There is a, a lot of elements that are now one Hitachi. You know, we are still well, like I, I think I told you earlier, we're about, you know, three, three, almost three to four years into this, you know, but it's, you know, it's a continuous thing and it's a. Uh, is part of our values now. It's really part of our mission as well to be uh, continuously strategic as you know, working as one Hitachi. And and the chain always changing. Mm -hmm. uh, congratulations on your new 
role. Thank you. Thank you. Best of luck with the project. I Cost, appreciate that. Costin Deal, head of IT strategy at Hitachi Rail. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. That'll do it from the Software AG IUG conference. I'm Paul Gillen for theCUBE. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.